Hey folks, how are you doing? Hope you're well. It's Friday, it's a quick after work ride, a couple hours. Might not even be a couple hours, just a bit of a trundle around on some local roads. As you can see, I haven't really got my second gear on. Not doing a great amount of distance. A bit of a casual vlog, a bit of a catch up. Let you know what I'm doing over the course of the next couple of months. And maybe catch you out there somewhere. So let's start with next weekend, Saturday the 2nd of April. I've literally, yes, last night signed up to a, another event, an Audax event. It's called All Around the Wrecking. It's a 300 kilometre ride. Starts in Healy, at the Healy Institute, which is in Sheffield. Starts off going through the Peak District, heading southwest towards Leek. And that particular ride ends up heading north east, back through Utoxeter and back on to uh, the Peak District again, dropping into Sheffield. 180 miles later. So if you're out and about, perhaps doing the Audax or anywhere in the area, perhaps I'll throw a route on the screen, show you where that is. That's next Saturday, 2nd of April, all around at the wrecking, 300 kilometer Audax. Hopefully the weather will be dry. I understand it's getting colder again, which I'm not surprised by. immediate future hopefully by the time i put this video together i'll be going out riding 100 miles i have no idea about the route tomorrow but i'm going to be joined by steve shelley and karen no idea where i'm going all i promise is two cafe stops and it's a lincolnshire ride which would be nice to not have a route for change coming up in april got a dirty reaver which i think is about four weeks away I haven't decided on what bike I'm going to be using yet, or tyres or anything. You never know, I might end up on this bike. Wonder what the clearance is. <laughs> or I may not turn up at all, but the intention right now is to do a Dirty Reaver on some sort of bike. And then the following week, heading to the Netherlands by uh, the Harridge over, which is in Suffolk I think that is, isn't it? Taking the ferry over there, first thing. I'm riding around the Netherlands for a week and a bit. Hopefully that's going to be a blast. Probably going to try and aim for 300 kilometers a day. And then, like all these events, you taper it off as you go along. Before both Riva and the race around the Netherlands, I'm going to be planning a thousand kilometer ride. It's a bank holiday, isn't there? It's that bank holiday weekend. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, of course. I can get a really big ride in. I think I'll probably uh, head off on the first evening actually. I'll get myself super ready and uh, yeah, four and a half days, thousand kilometers, should be good. Anyway, I'll keep you posted on that one a little bit nearer the time, about two, three weeks to get that organized. Lot out, so I've got sat in here in Training Peaks. But before then, Wednesday, the April the 13th, it's the start of the Lynx Quad TT series over in Brig. Took part in it last year, didn't record it, any of it. It's not the kind of event that you know you can record. Well, that's a Wednesday, April the 13th. So if you live anywhere near Brig or Scorby, or perhaps you're a member of Link Squad, I'll see you there in a few weeks' time. Walking a bit further ahead, eight weeks from now, May 21st, it's the Benjamin Allen's Audax. That's a, a 600 kilometer distance. More Link Squad TT events, and then I'm hoping to do a spring 800 kilometer ride at some point as well as 700 kilometers. Uh, June the 4th, nine counties, that's an old X, that's a 600 kilometers, 10 weeks to train for that one. I'm gonna try and keep in top of my social media a bit more and let you know when, uh, when I'm gonna be doing bits and bobs so you can perhaps join me somewhere. Of course, it's fairly a day still, isn't it? Um, I've got quite a lot of plans in mind. Once I come back from race, across the Netherlands, around the Netherlands. I want to do a redo, conquering the Lincolnshire Wolds, which I did back in 2020. And that was to ride every single hill in the Lincolnshire Wolds. I want to do that one again. Well, in 2022, I'd like to do it in a one I think. Just change the uh, start and finish points. Probably will actually, because in 2020, I cycled all the way, because obviously it's locked down, I cycled all the way from home and did that event, which added a lot of distance to the overall uh, ride itself, the overall course. So probably going to do that a little bit differently in 2022 and kind of do it in a water. 
I was away in Leicestershire only last weekend and I was thinking to myself what it'd be like to uh, perhaps do a 200 or 300 or the hills in a particular county which is in Lincolnshire and I was thinking about Lincoln and uh, Leicestershire and Rutland perhaps those two counties combined if you live over there or perhaps you've ridden lots of the hills in that area maybe you could put a circuit together for me every hill in Rutland and Leicestershire I think there has to be a few rules laid down. It must be on road or tar back or cycleway. No off-road gnarly tracks. It's got to be a continuous loop. I don't want to be doing any hill repeats up and down the same hill 10 times or anything like that. So it could be loopy, but no hill repeats, thank you. If you want to get involved, my email address is down below the video. Yeah, so this purpose of this video really wants to be a bit more vloggy styley. All my videos for a long time have just been like like an adventure format, I've gone away on a ride somewhere I've recorded it perhaps into one or more episodes and put it out there and put loads of work in it but the thing about doing vlogs is sometimes you don't have to be so critical and take so long putting together of course I like to put a lot of effort into videos and things like that but sometimes it takes over your life, I've got a day job you know I think some of you might have noticed as well if you follow me on Strava I've started going back to the gym this week though I've, I've given the gym a miss I couldn't be bothered in fact it's been a bit of a recovery week and I've had a couple of days off the bike as well I've already really cycled to work back on Wednesday Monday I had a good excuse because I needed the gears looking at Tuesday I just couldn't be bothered well like I said earlier it's still quite early isn't it I don't want to burn myself out but there comes a point where we're getting to the training, just crack on and do it. I uh, remember reading in my comments on a past video, someone had wrote, when you start doing the uh, transcontinental race, it's gonna come as a bit of a shock going up the mountains, the European climbs and things. I know, I know. <laughs> I only have to look around me to go, oh my god, it's just flat everywhere. Where's the hills? Talking of hills, somewhere between now and then, I'd like to spend every weekend in the Peak District if I can. And not only is it a beautiful place to visit, there's lots of chunky, badass climbs. So I'm planning on spending some quality time out there and possibly Wales as well. I want to be going where the mountains are. Well, I think that's it for this video. Well, like I said just a moment ago as well, I will be getting on top of my social media over the next few weeks and letting you guys know. Basically gonna be talking about the bike a bit more in lots of detail. You'll be seeing the bike going out, TCR ready, showing you everything how they've been buying over the course of the last few weeks and months. Stop for a moment, it's just soak up the sun. It's hard to believe it's March. So downhill from here. <laughs> Before I go though, if you are new to the channel, this is my hybrid. It's the Roux Foray 17. Got the old Schwalbe Marathon tyres on. Bomb proof as they say. So it's a triple gear set, granny gears. Rack on the back and quickly, not going anywhere without any inner tube. So quickly wrap those onto the rack with a Voule strap in the back pocket. Got some tie levers because the tie glide is hiding away somewhere. If you don't know what tie glide is, I'll stick it and link in the corner of the screen somewhere. A few little changes up here as well. In that, I've taken my Wahoo stem mount off and I put that on the Sunder because when I do these big ultra distance rides, I'm going to be using two. I'm going to be using two GPS devices, not in, in tandem, but I'm, I'm going to have them there. One's going to be back up. I decided the Wahoo is going to back up. I'm, I'm, I think I'm a Garmin convert again. Uh, and both bikes, both this and the uh, Sonder, have got a quad lock on there as well, which are fantastic. Anyway, I think this video is getting a bit, a bit too long. So I'm going to end it here and uh, I'll see you again in the next adventure. Ciao for now. If you like the socks, 